Okay, so um, the chapter I chose is Black Lives Matter in Illinois, more specifically in Chicago. And so um, it was a little bit hard to find stuff about the leaders, but one leader that I did find, um, her name is Amika Tendaji. And so there's not much about her that I do know, um, but what I do know about her is that she um, is a volunteer, just like everyone else in the organization, because it is 100% volunteer run, which is really nice. Um, and so basically the racial history of Chicago is, it is currently like very diverse, um, but there was, so a while back there was a race riot of 1919, and so that started when um, like an African-American boy, he was really young, he was swimming in Lake Michigan and drifted over to like the white area um, for swimming. And so then he was unfortunately stoned to death. And so the cops pretty much did nothing about it. They didn't arrest the white man who stoned him. So then that kind of led um, to another thing. And that's when the whole race riot started. Um, so then for 13 days, Chicago is basically kind of without like law and order going on. Um, and so basically, so then after that, there's an increasingly, um, large, like, African-American population in Chicago. And so they did face some of the same discrimination as they had in the South. Um, it was really hard for people to find jobs and find decent places to live because of the competition for housing, um, among different ethnic groups. And the city was changing um, very much at the time and expanding and population so dramatically. And so that kind of brings us to today. So the Black Lives Matter chapter in Chicago fights for justice with families who are working um, to create like equitable justice systems. And they work really hard to end violence um, and criminalization of black communities. And I just think this is a really good organization because like I said, they are also 100% volunteer run. So I just think it's really, it's a really good place um, for people. And if you need help, I really think that that is a good place to start because this, by doing research on them, it seems like they're very helpful and know what they're doing and can provide some really good sources to you.